This video will cover document templates, but before we start, let's clarify the difference between a project template and a document template. Project templates are available from File, New Project, and provide an example project structure for you to expand upon. We have another video about project templates which you should be able to find nearby. Document templates, on the other hand, can be set up within a project and used as a basis for other documents, and they'll be the focus of this video. A good example of this would be a character sheet. I've prepared an example here with space for a brief description of the character's appearance, their background, personality, how they behave, and their role in the story. I want to use this as a template so I can create one of these character sheets anytime I conceive a new character. First I need to create a templates folder. I'll go to Project New Folder and name it Templates. This folder can be stored anywhere in the binder, so for the sake of this demonstration we'll put it here below the Research folder. Now I'll take a character sheet and drag it into my Templates folder and open Project Project Settings. From here I'll select Special Folders in the list on the left and I can manually assign a Templates folder by selecting it from this drop-down list. When I select the Templates folder and hit OK to confirm this change, you'll see the icon in the binder changes from a regular folder icon to a blue icon with a white T. Any documents contained within this template folder will now also have the T icon added to the corner of their icon. If I now click the arrow next to the Add icon in the toolbar, the Character Sheet option appears here below the options to add a new blank document or folder, and if I click this, it creates a new character sheet in the binder using our character sheet template. I can rename it and start typing all my character details into the document, and naturally, this has not affected my original template document at all. We can also access the template documents by going to Project, New from Template. Any document from your project can be moved into the templates folder if you want to use it as a basis for other documents. I'll do the same with a location sheet with information about settings for the different scenes in my draft. To make it easier to tell these apart, I can also apply custom icons to each of these by right-clicking and choosing an icon from the Change icon menu. Now when I go to create a new character sheet, it already has this custom icon applied to it. Our video about custom icons goes into this feature in more depth. Let's say my project features a lot of characters and locations and I want to store all my character sheets and location sheets in specific folders. I could select the folder and choose Character Sheet from the drop-down list every time I want to add to their number, but Scrivener also allows you to set a template document as a default sub-document for a folder, meaning any time you create a new document using the Add button or the Control n keyboard shortcut, it will appear as a character sheet automatically instead of just using a blank document. Setting this up is simple. I select my Characters folder, go to Documents, Default Template for Subdocuments, and choose the Character Sheet template. Now I'll do the same for the Locations folder, and choose Location Sheet as the default template. Selecting this folder and clicking the Add button or using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl N, we'll now create a Location Sheet here instead of the usual blank document. Doing the same in the Characters folder creates a character sheet. Meanwhile, going back to my draft and using Ctrl N, we'll still create a blank text document. Many of Scrivener's project templates have all of this set up already. They contain example character sheets, a folder for document templates, and other organizational features. But there's nothing special about these project templates. We've just created a blank project and set up an example project structure for you. It's easy for you to create a project with exactly the same features and further customize them to create your perfect writing environment. You can learn more about project templates in another video, which should be linked nearby, along with videos about the other features of Scrivener. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!